So they finally revealed who's in the uh, the second combat pack for Mortal Kombat X. <clears throat> and it's weird. I'm 50% excited and interested and 50% totally disappointed. Because, as you may or may not know, I'm a big Noob Cybot fan. And I've been... Ever since they started unveiling the characters for the full game, every time they unveil a new character, I'm like, Oh, is this him? No. Oh, is this him? No. And then they said, That's it. That's all the characters. And I was like... Oh, for fuck's sake, look. Luckily, they made Sub-Zero awesome again, and he's always been my main, but Noob Cybot, in the last in the last game, Noob Cybot was my main. I played Sub-Zero a lot, but Noob was my main. So, then they announced the first combat pack, and I was like, okay, this game's fucking awesome, I don't care who's in it, I'm buying it, buying all the DLC. And I did, I bought uh, the combat pack, so I got Jason, who I never use, because um, I don't care about him in the slightest. I got Tremor, I guess I just got the combat pack because I wanted all the... I just wanted all the characters. Because, I mean, I thought to myself, I don't care about Jason, but I'll still play as him. He may be good and fun to use, but I don't like him. Uh, Tanya, I, I, I tried using Tanya for a bit. He's okay, I guess. I haven't really tried using Tremor. I tried him briefly, and I just don't have any interest. The only character I actually play as is Predator, because it's the fucking Predator. It's awesome. And then the speculation started happening... Oh, who's going to be in the next uh, combat pack? So they teased a silhouette of four characters that are going to be in combat pack two a couple of months ago. And the fans went to town trying to figure out who it was. And they were like, this person's got to be Burai Cho. And that person's got to be Baraka and all this business. So today they told us who's in that new combat pack. Which won't come out till sometime next year. <sighs> so Burai Cho's in it. We already kind of knew that. And it's like, oh, I don't give a shit about Burai Cho. That there's a sizable portion of people that do, and he is an actual Mortal Kombat character. So, if, I'm not complaining that he's in. I'll, I'll give him a go. He, I may end up liking him, but he does deserve a go. Because they don't really represent Bo Cho very much. Then, they released what people are calling Triborg. I don't, I don't know if that's his actual name, but it works fine. It's basically a, one of the cyborgs. And they showed he can change colour from yellow to red and black. So people are going right. So one variation is going to be Cyrax. One variation is going to be Sector. And one variation is going to be Smoke. Which pleases three groups of people. And I thought that's a really good idea. Instead of introducing Cyrax on his own and Sector on his own. This will at least keep those people happy. And it's cool having one character split into three characters. That's, that's quite cool. What is this? Get Windows 10. Fuck off. So that's cool. I like that. Um, then they unveiled the alien, the xenomorph, which is obviously blatantly going to be awesome. And I, I, I heard people were sort of talking about it and saying, oh, the alien might be in it. And I thought, nah, they wouldn't do that. But they've done it, so the alien's in. And he's a Baraka alien, so he's got the blades. You, you see the uh, the chestburster come out of Baraka, and I was like, oh, hey, what the fuck? And you, you see the Takatan blades on the xenomorph. And so a lot of people are like... Oh, it's not the xenomorph from the films. And I'm like, well, really? I didn't look that closely. Apart from the blades, he just looked like an alien to me. And they must have designed him this way. Because I'm guessing an alien model from the films wouldn't work in their engine. They had to sort of base it on the character. So one variation, it's safe to say one variation is going to play like Baraka. So that's keeping all the many fans that wanted Baraka. Hopefully that will keep them a little bit happy. The... Second variation is probably going to be just like the standard Xenomorph stuff, Acid Spit, all that shit. Fuck knows what the third one's going to be. So we've got Bo Ride Show. Well, I don't really care, but I can see why he's in it. We've got Triborg. I've never really cared about Cyrax or Sector, but at least they're Mortal Kombat characters, and they're kind of in the game now, so it's an, inter it's an interesting idea, so that's okay. And the Predator, uh, not the Predator, the Alien. I'm, that's what I'm excited for. I'm like, yeah, the Alien. But they've included Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre for some reason. I mean, people are saying, oh, it's because, uh, what's the name, Gunnar, Gunnar Henderson or Henson? Anyway, uh, the actor that played Leatherface in the film, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, died recently. And people are saying, oh, Ed Boon was good friends with him, so this is his tribute. And I'm like, he probably had it planned before Gunnar died. And I'm saying that because it usually takes a long time to make these characters. And it looks like they've got the model done and dusted. So seems to me like something... And plus, developers do tend to plan their fucking DLCs months before they get released, usually. So I suspect it's just coincidence that he's in it now that Gunners died. But obviously he was 
Ed Boon's a fan of Leatherface. And I've been on the Mortal Kombat subreddit pretty actively since launch. And I don't, I've seen hundreds of people asking for Baraka and Rain and Sindel and Cyrax and Sector and Cabal and Smoke and Noob and Frost and Nitara and Serena and Havoc. All these classic Mortal Kombat characters. And then they're just like, fuck it. No one asked for him. Here's Leatherface. And the community seems split. And I'm, I don't mean split down the middle. I mean... There's like 90% of the community has my reaction, which is just, why? No one asked for him. We don't want him. And then there's 10% of the community going, well, you know, you haven't played as him yet. He could be cool. And yeah, they're right. He could be cool. But it doesn't help the fact, it doesn't change the fact that I don't give a fuck about the character. He could play well, and I could enjoy playing him, playing him, playing as him. And I could very well change my opinion and go, you know what? I'm glad they put him in. But it's probably just going to be like Jason. I don't give a fuck about the character. So I'm probably not going to enjoy playing as him. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. So that's another combat pack with no noob cybot. And I'm like, oh. And people are like, oh, he's so selfish. You just want that one character. And I'm like, I'm not saying people can't have Leatherface. That would be selfish. I'm just saying I would like this one character in it. That's, that's what I'm saying. And he's not in it. So am I not allowed to be disappointed by that? And then someone goes, oh, he, if they make another one, he'll be in that. And I'm like, ah, oh, probably not, though, because if, even if they do make another combat pack, it'll probably be their last one for this game, and it'll probably be the story pack people have been asking for for months and months and months. So it's going to have characters from the story that you couldn't play as, like Sindel, maybe Baraka, uh, Fujin. A lot of people want Fujin. But no Noob Cybot, so I, I'm now resigned to the fact that Noob Cybot will just not be in this game, and that disappoints me, because he's my boy. Noob Cybot's awesome, so that disappointed me. Um, what else disappointed me? The Batman vs. Superman trailer. I've got pretty much the same concerns as everyone else. Like, I was so excited for that film, I thought, this is going to be the, this, this is gonna be the greatest film ever. But every trailer they release, it's just like, how much more shit can we shoehorn into one film? Spider-Man 3 is widely regarded as being the worst of the trilogy, right? And you know why? Because they shoehorn too much shit in. They should have just had Spider-Man vs. Venom. That's the film. But no, they thought, well, we already had two films of one villain. Let's have two villains! So they put the Sandman in. No one gives a fuck. They only watched that film to see Venom, and you only saw Venom truly in it for about ten minutes straight. Because they just had no time left after squeezing in two villains. And now you've got this film, Batman v Superman... So you think it's going to be Batman v Superman is going to be the main fight of the film. But no, of course. you got Lex Luthor, or a theory that's flying around now is Lex Luthor's son. That doesn't make it any less shit. So you've got Jesse Eisenberg playing Lex Luthor. Well, playing a character called Lex Luthor. I don't recognise him as Lex Luthor. He looks like ridiculous and stupid and not threatening in the least. And I, I do not care for him, but he's in it. And he's there like... Oh, oh, what a firm handshake you have. Do not fight that man. Ha, 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 ha. Fuck off. Right, but I can live with that. I could live with a bad Lex Luthor. I could live with that. But not only are they... Superman doesn't need an origin story. Batman doesn't, but they're fucking going to give him one anyway. We've already seen that there's shots of his parents getting killed. Like, oh, no, I wonder how he became Batman. I, maybe I didn't watch the previous 30 films that told me. So we're going to see another origin story for Batman, and then we're going to have to see what happened to him, why he retired, and why he's come out of retirement, and all of that, and then he's going to have possible love interest with Wonder Woman, before it's revealed that she actually is Wonder Woman, they've got to squeeze all this in, and then I heard they was going to shoehorn the Flash in there somewhere at the end, and maybe Cyborg, and now all of a sudden, they're like, oh by the way, Doomsday's in, and here's many problems with Doomsday, problem the first, he looks like a rock version of the fuck ugly turtles that Michael Bay created, Go pause it on that that still shot where he fucking jumps down the building and he's like, look at me, and he's meant to be all scary. And all anyone can think is, you look like a rock version of one of those hideous ten Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that Michael Bay created. Wow. And also, I thought, I'm not really up to scratch with my lore, but I thought Doomsday was a native of Krypton. I didn't realise that Lex Luthor, from what we can gather from the trailers, took DNA from Zod and somehow went... Doomsday. And also, why, if, why does Lex Luthor go, 
Uh, what does he say? He says something like, oh, if man can't defeat a god, then the devil must do it. And then Superman's in the background. So you... Some people are thinking it must be Bizarro. And I'm like, oh, I don't fucking know anymore. They, they can't squeeze Doomsday in and Bizarro and all this other shit. And the worst part is, Doomsday, what's the one thing he's known for? Killing Superman. Sorry. Putting Superman into a sleep coma. Because they had to retcon it after they killed Superman. Like, that's what he's known for. Doomsday killed Superman. He's the only person to kill Superman. So if he turns up in this film, he has to kill Superman. Which is not a small story. So you've got the Batman origin. You've got the conflict between Batman and Superman. You've got Lex Luthor and his meddlings, possibly, between those two people. You've got that supposed dream sequence that was in the previous teaser. You've got Wonder Woman, you've got The Flash, you've got Cyborg, you've got Doomsday being created from the remains of General Zod, you've got flashbacks to the fight that happened at the end of Man of Steel. And then you th there's no way on top of that that they could possibly squeeze in such a huge story as Doomsday killing Superman. So they're just it just seems like they're trying to catch up to Marvel, and they shouldn't. Th this shouldn't even be a film yet. It should, be, it should have been Superman, and then Superman 2, and then do the team-up. But they were like, oh no, we've got to catch up to Marvel. They're getting all the money. So they went, fuck it. Straight on to Batman v Superman, which I was, at first I was like, mm, rushing it a bit, aren't you? But then I was like, well, I, I, who doesn't want to see that film? And now they're like, oh, we, we, we're putting so much stuff into this film. If it ain't five hours long, it's going to feel rushed. I'm calling it now. And if it's five hours long, it's too long. So I don't see how they can do it, which means I'm still going to see the film, obviously, but I... I don't know what the fuck that was. But my interest in it has decreased significantly. Not my interest. My excitement has decreased significantly because of reasons I've just stated. There was other things about Doomsday I didn't like. What was it? Uh, the fact the CGI looked pretty bad. Um, he's, he's obviously not going to kill Superman. Um, oh yeah, they kind of spoiled the fact that he's in it. The film's called Batman v Superman. Now we know that isn't even the main conflict. The main conflict is going to be them teaming up to fight Doomsday. How can that not be the main conflict? Now we know he's in it. So they're just, they're going, here's Doomsday. They pull out the Doomsday card and they're like, this is one of Superman's biggest enemies. If not the biggest, because he's the only guy that killed him. Let's play it straight away. Where do we go from here? Fuck knows. Bizarro? Oh yeah, Bizarro's going to be scarier than Doomsday. Bizarro's just like an angry Superman. And Doomsday killed Superman, so it stands to reason Doomsday could kill angry Superman. So that would be a step back in villainy, which means they'd probably have to add more villains. These are like the ultimate first world problems, getting getting upset about stuff like this. Like Mortal Kombat, disappointed Noob Cybot's in. Fucking Batman v Superman, disappointed they're wasting Doomsday. I, of course, I, I am open to the, to the notion that I could go in and I could watch that film and I could come out going, that was the greatest film ever. But I, it just doesn't look like that's going to happen, so... A little bit disappointed. And then I ordered two new straps for my Apple Watch. And I ordered them last week. And I checked their site this morning. They, they were supposed to have arrived. I checked their site this morning and they said, Oh, they'll arrive next week. And I was like, how does it take eight days? Eight days to send me a couple of watch straps. Are you sending them from the moon? And I got really arsy. And I was tweeting at Amazon saying, Oh, it's fucking useless. I want to, my friend gets his deliveries within 12 hours. And everything I order from you takes fucking forever. And then a couple of hours later, I get an email from them saying, your uh, things are going to arrive today. And I went, oh, good. So I got this I got this imitation Milanese loop strap. Looks pretty much just like the real thing. Um, this was 20 quid. And if I bought the real thing from, App uh, from Apple, that would have been 120 quid. So that's good. And I got the imitation link bracelet strap as well, which is cost me 40 quid. And from Apple, that's 370 quid for a watch strap. So I was disappointed that I wasn't going to get noob. Disappointed with Doomsday. Disappointed I wasn't going to get my straps. But then I got my straps. So that's one good thing, I guess. So that's my 15-minute rant over. I'm just about to play some uh, Black Ops 3 with Naf, I think. And I'll probably live stream it. So that video will be up a couple of hours after this one. So uh, cheers for watching and listening to my rant. I need every, My eye is just drawn to the screen. But of course, you're not where the screen is. You're this. I can't even see the camera. It's there. can't even see it because it's black on black. Anyway... Before we get into race, thanks for watching.